Hi there! Now before we jump into the video, I have a very important question for you. Have you subscribed to our channel? If not, then subscribe right now to stay updated with the latest and brand new Scalia.com lectures. And click on the bell icon to stay notified about new releases. So that being said, now that you've subscribed, let's return to the lecture. One in five people in United States had sexually transmitted disease once in life. Quite common condition, so as a doctor you might encounter such patients in your career as well. Let us see what an STI or STD patient feels like and what related infection they can have. Well, a person may feel from discharge from the penis or vagina to genital sores to pelvic pain. Not all instances of discharge from the penis or vagina are due to STD. Having certain STD may mean that patient is at risk for infection with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS, so there are certain symptom-related questions that you need to ask your patient. Ask them about swollen lymph nodes, pain with or difficulty urinating, genital sores, pelvic pain, fever, chills, eye inflammation, joint pain, recent skin rash, results of past tests for syphilis or HIV, the color of any discharge from the penis or vagina. Ask them about family history of syphilis, gonorrhea, pelvic inflammatory disease, allergy to penicillin or ampicillin. Ask them why do they think that they have an STD? Ask them about history of STD as well as their partner's history. Also ask them about use of any run for drugs and medications as well. Physical examination that you will perform includes pelvic exam, taking culture of the cervix, testing discharge from the penis. If the penis initially produces no discharge, your doctor may perform a rectal exam and massage the prostate to obtain a discharge. So, if the patient come up with the symptoms of watery vaginal discharge, bleeding after sex, infertility if left untreated, they can possibly have chlamydia. Chlamydia is a common sexually transmitted disease. It is caused by bacteria called chlamydia trachomatis. It can infect both men and women. Women can get chlamydia in the cervix, rectum, or throat. Men can get chlamydia in the urethra, inside the penis, rectum, or throat. Well, if the patient come up with the symptoms of painful genital sores, watery discharge, and painful urination, they can possibly have herpes. Herpes results from infection with the herpes simplex virus, HSV. It causes sores or blisters to form in or around the mouth or genitals, as well as other symptoms. There are two types of HSV. HSV, one causes oral herpes, which usually affects the mouth and surrounding skin. HSV, two causes genital herpes, which is usually sexually transmitted. And if the patient come up with the symptoms of painless genital ulcer and rash, they can possibly have syphilis. Syphilis is a bacterial infection usually spread by sexual contact. The disease starts as a painless sore typically on the genitals, rectum, or mouth. Syphilis spreads from person to person via skin or mucous membrane contact with these sores. Well, if the patient come up with the symptoms of abdominal pain, fever, chills, green or yellow discharge, they can possibly have gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease, STD, caused by infection with the Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacterium. N. Gonorrhoea infects the mucous membranes of the reproductive tract, including the cervix, uterus, and fallopian tubes in women, and the urethra in women and men. Now, if the patient come up with the symptoms of 
painful genital ulcer and swelling in the groin. They can possibly have Chancroid Chancroid is a bacterial sexually transmitted disease, STD, caused by infection with Haemophilus ducri. It is characterized by painful necrotizing genital ulcers that may be accompanied by inguinal lymphadenopathy. It is a highly contagious but curable disease. Lastly, if the patient come up with the symptoms of itching around the urethra, painful urination, thick and clear discharge from the penis, vaginal itching, and smelly discharge, they can possibly have Trichomonas urethritis. Trichomonas is another cause of urethritis. It is a single-celled organism that is sexually transmitted. Sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea and chlamydia are usually confined to the urethra, but they may extend into women's reproductive organs, causing pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. There is certain discharge that are unrelated to STD in males. Let us get to know about them as well. So, if the patient come up with the symptoms of clear and watery discharge with pain in urination, they can possibly have urethritis. Urethritis is inflammation of the urethra, the tube that carries pee from the bladder out of the body. It's usually caused by an infection. The term non gonococcal urethritis, NGU, is used when the condition is not caused by the sexually transmitted infection gonorrhea. And if the patient come up with the symptoms of painful urination, frequent and persistent thick penile discharge, joint pain, eye inflammation, more common in young men, they can possibly have Re-Eiter Syndrome Re-Eiter Syndrome is a form of arthritis that produces pain swelling redness and heat in the joints. It is one of a family of arthritic disorders affecting the spine. re commonly involves the joints of the spine and the sacroiliac joints areas where the spine attaches to the pelvis. So, this concludes our video. Keep watching Scotia.com for more videos on differential diagnosis. So that was all for today. For more content, you can visit our website, Scotia.com. We have exciting new lectures waiting for you. So go visit and happy learning.